Wright family, yesterday we said we were going to circle back around to this portion here. We're talking about our upcoming test, okay? So we want to make sure that we are thoroughly prepared for the test that we're going to face. And there are examples that parallel what we are anticipating all throughout the scriptures. But we want to focus on when Yahushua faced his test, all right? Faced his hour of temptation. And we want to make some observations about that, and then we're going to move forward. This is found in the book of Matthew, again, the fourth chapter, that number four, repeating itself. And we're going to start at the first verse, and it reads like this. Then was Yahushua led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So one thing that we have to observe, family, right off, that although Yahuwah is allowing us to go through the test, all right? Um, removing the hedge from a, from around us and letting us stand on our own. Yahuwah never tests us via temptation. And neither is he tempted. All right? So that's not in his nature. And that's not in divine rank and order. It is always the adversary. See, tempted of the adversary, of the devil. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. This is very instructive, all right? Mm -hmm. Very instructive that we that, that we get this because this tempting is what we're gonna we're gonna face. We're gonna face temptation. And it's going to be very specific to our situation, and we'll spend time actually addressing that. It's going to be specific. The temptation is going to be specific to the test. In our current climate, they are crashing the dollar. That's going to be a test in itself because whatever money that you have in a bank account, 
the value of it is going to be decreased as, as well. So let's say you have $50 in. $50 might be, when it's all said and done, 50 cents because they're taking this thing all the way down to zero. Now those are going to present some specific challenges, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Also ongoing, we know that this test specifically is going to involve NASA, and I'm spelling it like this purposefully, and AI Tech Specifically, chat GPT. Now understand, this AI tech is not new, family. I want y'all to get that. It's not. It's very important that we understand this. Okay. Okay. That they utilize this AI tech, artificial intelligence. to bring down the value of money many times before. Actually, they use it to establish what is called the coin of the realm. The realm family refers to a dominion, specifically our adversaries, our oppressors reigning over us in our fallen state. Do we get that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. This money system is very important. It is often overlooked in terms of being a key element, a key component to our captivity, to our punishment, to our period of chastisement. I want to show you all something. Did y'all see what I just did? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, I'm not being cute. I got you. I got you. Y'all, y'all, y'all with me? Yes, sir. This is connected. Mm-hmm. And, and look, it all, it goes all the way back to Cain. We're gonna make these connections, family. As we as we go on, this will be very clear to you all. Cain is emblematic of the coin of the realm. Very deep esoteric symbolism here. So we know it's going to involve AI tech, chat GPT, because the Hebrew word NASA literally means test. You all with me? Okay. Okay. This word in this form, NASA, literally means 
to lift off or raise up. We're going to make all of this plain. This is going to involve a tremendous imagery created in real time by chat GPT. And we know that the Project Blue Beam is going to be involved or whatever the iteration they bring, you know, whatever they call it. We on the same page. Yes. So uh, there, there will be a number of things. We're mentioning, the, we're mentioning just a few of the key elements in here. The crashing of the, of the dollar, this controlled implosion, controlled demolition of the dollar, which was the current coin of the realm, and the switch over to another one, this is going to provide the real-time challenge, and it's going to be accompanied at a certain point by a very convincing but extremely deceptive visual aid. Visual aid, and what, what I mean by that is sound is going to look, sound, feel, smell, taste for all intents and purposes like what they're trying to project. The ultimate goal is deception. All right? Yes. And the target, as always, the children of Yahuwah. Because if they can get us to play along, then it prolongs and extends their dominion. Do we got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's take a look at how our high priest, how our elder brother, during his time in the flesh, was tempted of the devil, tempted of the adversary. And remember, we said it's going to be specific to, to the circumstances at that time. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Let's see a miracle. Let's see a sign. Get your ego involved. Get the human aspect. That's right, where the right. temptation is coming from. It's going to be the same with us, family. Because when that dollar falls and when $50 becomes 50 cents or whatever, you're going to be worried about what? Creature comforts. How you're going to eat, how you're going to live, it's going to be a specific temptation. Yes. Yes. Uh, real talk. It is written, see, the importance of this word and knowing it and being able to wield it like a sword. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Now, Let's look at this a little further. It 
it says that Slicker. In Hebrews, again, the fourth chapter, when it refers to this temptation that our elder brother, that our high priest underwent during his time, it refers to, to, him, to, to him in this passage, Hebrews 4, 4 and 15, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. In other words, he can relate to us because the same things that we've gone through, the same difficulties, he had to go through as well. The same infirmities or and weaknesses of the flesh Yes. He had to face. He had to overcome. He had yes. to endure. However, he was in all points tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. Now, let's really understand what this means, because in understanding this, you're going to get a perfect understanding in the pure language of how to face this. It's going to bottom line it, all right, so that we don't have to guess. We don't have to uh, interp try to interpret it. So this word sin, family, is the word harmartia, harmartia in Greek. And very quickly, it says, first and foremost, it means to be without a share in. To be without a share in. The way that we need to hear that is that, that we don't participate at all. Whatever the adversary is offering, we don't take a share in. Okay. okay. We recognize that it's going to be a sin. Whatever is being dangled out there in front of us. Mm -hmm. All right? Oh, look, switch over to the government currency. And that $50 that you had in the bank, because it will increase in value because it won't be in dollars. It will be in digital currency. And it will double your spending power. So fifty dollars becomes a hundred in the bank account, or a hundred and fifty, or two hundred in the bank account. Enticing, tempting. Yeah, yeah. Can't take any part in it. Absolutely. Meaning that we reject that out of hand. Just like Yahushua didn't budge. Yeah, I can do that, but I'm not taking part in this foolishness. Yeah, I can turn these stones to bread. Not going to do it, though. That would be you commanding me and you right, providing right. for me. The only thing that moves me is every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahuwah. That's how I'm going to get fed. Do we get it, family? Yes, yes sir. sir. Number two, then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and sets him on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot even against a stone. 
Yeshua said unto him, it is written, Thou shalt not tempt, meaning test, Yahuwah. He doesn't test us. We don't test him. And especially putting him to a foolish test. Yeah. Furthermore, family, you don't prove who or what you are. Yes. No. The test proves who and what you are. Did y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You don't test Yahuwah and make him prove who you are. The test you undergo will speak volumes. It will prove exactly who and what you are. And again, you don't take suggestions from the enemy, from the adversary. You don't participate in it at all. It's just a flat, it's a no. It's a no. Yeah. Now understand, the majority of the people around you, people that are close to you, they're going to take the they're going to take the bait whatever's dangled out in front of them and they're going to be looking at you like what you a damn fool not to do it. real talk and lastly the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. Now, this goes back to a basic premise that we talked about and that we, that the word exposed relative to our fathers. And the pursuit, how the pursuit of gold and silver. Speak out the pursuit of almighty gold and silver. Turn into the pursuit of the almighty dollar which we know is actually the pursuit of Haleo, right? A fallen angel. Yes. Yeah. Which turned most recently into the pursuit of happiness. Meaning, The pursuit of well-being, refuge, under the dominion, influence, and auspices of our enemy. So this is what the final stage of this is. Showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. See, this is what our forefathers went after when they went up north in pursuit of happiness. In pursuit, family, in a word, in a phrase, a better quality of life.
in captivity. Ain't that something? Yes. Under oppression. And saith unto them, unto him rather, all these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Worship. That's that word, avad. Work for me. Work. Serve me. See, that's the snapshot of the daily sacrifice. Do we agree? Yes, sir. Yes. And everything that financial economic system has to offer. Understand, when the dollar falls, it's going to create harshness, a hard way to go for everyone. But family, I'm not dependent on the dollar. I, I want it to come down next week, tomorrow. Yes, Let's get it on. Let's yeah. get it on. Come on. Real talking time. I already know what I'm going to do, and I know what I'm not going to do either. It's not even a question. Yes, sir. Then Yahushua said unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. It is written, Thou shalt worship Yahuwah thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Listen to this. Then the devil leaveth him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Same thing's going to happen. Yes, sir. <laughs> when we pass our test. Do y'all see it? You see the pattern? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. So without sin means you don't participate at all. Whatever is being offered, no unconditionally. No unconditionally. We're making up our minds, and we should be making up our minds today, if we're hearing. Yes, yes. Okay. If we're hearing. All right, any questions, comments, observations so far? All right. Let's move into the how-to, all right? We've got a firm foundation established. We know the importance of alignment and connection. We know how to do it. We know the, we know the reason it is needed. to align horizontally, to align vertically. And so we're going to move on to hearing intelligently in the last days how to wage war in the spirit. Spiritual Kung Fu, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Psalms 144 and 1, blessed be Yahuwah my strength. This is David, which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. We begin, family, with Ephesians 
the sixth chapter. We're just going to continue on letting the word speak and hearing it in the pure language. Finally, finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahuwah and the power of his might. The only way you can do that is to be what? Aligned and connected firmly. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. What verse 12 did was tell us what we already know. And that is that we are our adversaries, our fallen angels, and whom? Their children. Their offspring, correct. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahuwah. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. This is going to guarantee our victory, family. A passing grade on this test. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. So this is what this pure language is, fam. All right? We know what the truth is. We're going we, we, to understand exactly what chat GBT, GPT is. Exactly. Yes, yes. According yes. to truth. Not according to the propaganda that they're putting out. The misinformation, the false information. We've had three years of more than three years of that. Mm -hmm. Did they act? Did, 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 have they actually told you what the SARS-CoV-2? I, I mean, the yeah, the SARS-CoV-2 pathogen is and where it came from. Have they have they come out and told you that? Have has your enemies told you that, or did you? Did you discern that? Was it revealed to you in the spirit? The latter, absolutely. Did they actually tell you what the so-called vaccines were? Or was yeah. it a bunch of misinformation and, and disinformation and lies upon lies upon lies? Flesh and blood didn't reveal the truth. Flesh and blood didn't reveal it to us. Neither is flesh and blood going to reveal exactly what chat GPT is and what the real intentions are. But it's going to be revealed in the spirit. Yes. We started in the spirit, family. We're going to end in the spirit. Yes, sir. It begins with truth and having on the breastplate, pray, the breastplate, excuse me, of righteousness, of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Good news, meaning that our demeanor and our attitude should be up all the time, family. King, King. In the high frequency ranges. She's yes, bordering, bordering on rejoicing. If we're hearing properly. Absolutely. Real talk. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Above all, you're going to have to trust in everything that you've heard. Everything that you're hearing.
everything that you're building in a spiritual sense. And that will be tested. Your discipline, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Not going to touch you. Be like the Matrix, right? <laughs> when they were shooting bullets at it. We're doing a backstroke. <laughs> and take on the helmet of salvation. Now, we'll talk about that as we, as, as we move. Because this helmet of salvation is directly connected, just like they have it, with the sword of the Spirit. And sword is just word with an S in front, right? Which is the word of Yahuwah. Spent all day yesterday emphasizing how imperative that is. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Um, what is prayer? I'll sum it up for you. A plea to the high court. High, high court. That, that's correct, but I, I, I'm talking about how, how do you do it? And we're going to simplify it. Look. Where? Attention. And intention. Goes. What happens? Energy flows. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. Yes. yes. In the past, we thought prayer and meditation were two different things, right? Yes. But both of these things, what you're doing is focusing, right? You're focusing on something specific. Mm -hmm. You're training your attention armed with intention and sending that energy in a specific direction for a specific purpose. Did I sum it up, family? Absolutely. Yes, yes. And it's like Sharona said, that this is a legal plea to a higher court. And not like a plea begging for anything. <laughs> right. You're not pleading. You know your rights, and you are demanding your rights. You know what's yours, and you're mm -hmm. demanding what is yours. We got that? Yes, sir. Yes. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto. You remember we got that command. What are we watching for when we pray?
the results. Huh? The results. Okay, remember I, I remember when we were commanded to watch? Does every anybody remember that? Yeah. Yeah, we were the main forward. So what the question is, family, listen, what are, when we pray, what are we watching for? Things not of this earth? Absolutely. Something not terrestrial. The answer is going to be what? Extraterrestrial. Do you all remember? Yes. Absolutely. Not something physical, but something what? Metaphysical. Supernatural. Not something natural that happens of natural occurrence, but supernatural. Y'all seeing how all of this, the foundation was laid for us? And we're just Mm. returning to things that we already know. But with more understanding, we're building if we're hearing intelligently. Watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So it's not, uh, this is collective, you know, and it it means, family, the people that you are horizontally aligned with. First and foremost, the people that are within your circle, your sphere of influence. Make sense? Yes, sir. And for me, that utterance, may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. That was Ephesians 6. Hebrews 4. There remaineth, therefore, a rest to the people of Yahuwah. Now, we've talked about this rest before, right? And it's equivalent. It occurs after the adoption, right? After that process. And after the inheritance. Listen. For he that is entered into his rest He also hath ceased from his own works as God did from his. So the preliminary entering in, the inception of the rest, is when we decide, family, stop trying to work things out as a terrestrial, physical, natural human. Does it make sense? Yes. Yes. Let us labor, let our work be, let us work, labor, therefore, to enter that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. See, by the time when this test comes, we are very close to entering that rest. And if you're going to seek rest and refuge and succor from your oppressor, you're going to fall just like our fathers did. Because understand, the enemy is desperate, and whatever they offer, is going to be 
super enticing. Do we get it? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And it's going, and it's going to be backed up at some time with a tremendous commercial, tremendous light show, tremendous promotion, like the like of which we, we haven't seen. It's going to be that AI tech. Not just one thing, fam. Okay. okay. For the word of Yah is quick and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and marrow and is a discernment of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So this is why our, 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 at the same time, our mind has to be transformed, has to be transfigured, the architecture, and made like the mind of y'all. And the way we do that is to stay engaged to hear intelligently, stay focused. And that process of divine neurogenesis begins. And our thoughts become in, uh, aligned and connected to the thoughts of Yahuwah. And our intentions, our purpose, our will on earth will match Yahuwah's will in heaven. We get it? Absolutely. Neither is there any creature. Now that word creature can mean creation too and what we'll do. Just put that side by side. Neither is there any creature or creation like the AI tech of chat GPT that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. So he reveals these things in their uncovered, naked, stripped, down version so that we can comprehend exactly what it is and not guess not be confused we're going to do that today seeing then that we have a great high priest that has passed into the heavens Yahushua son of God let us hold fast to our profession and again, we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the, with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet didn't participate, didn't fall for it, didn't invest. Yes. It was a flat, unequivocal no. No, thank you. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Second Corinthians 4, starting at the second verse. But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahuwah deceitfully. See, we've learned how to do that from our errant, erratic teachers and leadership that were hand-selected agents. 
placed among amongst us in our midst. So we've renounced those things. But by manifestation of the truth, demonstration of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahuwah. But if the good news be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world, that's the devil, that's our adversary, that's Hillel, has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Ephesians 1, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will. Man, that used to be a thing, man, when I was in the church. Everybody wanted to know the will of God, the will of God. What is the will of God for my life? What is the will of God for my life? And we carried that on. Malkiel, because the book was closed, we carried that on into all of the spiritual system. What is the what is God's will? It was a mystery. But it's being made known to us now. Not one of us can say if we've been hearing that we that that we don't know what the intent of Yahweh is. Today. Today. Yes. According to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself. That in the dispensate, I'm sorry, <laughs> I think I sprained my tongue on that one. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, let me get some water. It is the fullness of time right now, family. It is that dispensation of the fullness of time. We've never seen a time like this before where so many prophetic events are occurring simultaneously Mm -hmm. that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in the Mashiach, both which are in heaven and which are in earth, even in him. Very important that we understand this. And we know in terms of the times, specifically, we are in the ending phases. of the times of the Gentiles. Yes. It is the end of the kingdom of darkness. So it's going to get real dark, family. We, we we are descending. We are in those days of descending into darkness. But as it gets darker, our light shines even more. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose that is of the will, the intent of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. And we know that it's not a mystery to us. We can articulate what the will of yes. God is. That we should be 
to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in the Mashiach, in whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth. Didn't that happen? Yes, sir. All important word, family. The gospel of your, our salvation, the good news. In whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. With the Holy Spirit of promise. Man, that's what we're living our life on. King. That's what we've put all of our faith toward, all of our focus on, obtaining yes. the promise, obtaining the promise. Man, that should do something to your heart when you just imagine what is ahead. For you. Talk. which is the earnest, meaning the earnest deposit of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, that is the adoption, unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore also, after I heard of your faith and the love unto all the saints, horizontal, I mean vertical and horizontal alignment, Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of Yahushua HaMashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you, listen, the spirit of wisdom, revelation, in the knowledge of him. the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. It is indescribable, Malkia, indescribable. The only way you're going to know that, that it's going to be revealed to you, is that you go through a test. And that power works on your behalf. Everybody got that? Yes. The test is going to prove how well disciplined you are in hearing and building. Whatever you built is going to be tested. We talked about that yesterday. Everybody remember? Yes. 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 So this test is going to prove or try your work. What you built. And you remember You come through the test, you get your reward. If your work doesn't survive, you'll come through the test. But just like somebody escaping from the fire, you will be Escape with your life, and that's it.
What is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead? That was the ultimate test. It was like, show us a miracle, show us a sign. He said, a wicked and perverse generation, ask, us for, ask me for a sign. He said, the only sign you're going to get is the sign of Noah. As Noah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, uh, we're going to talk about Babel fish again. <laughs> we're going to talk about Babel fish again, family. When he was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so shall the Son of Man be what? Same amount of time in the earth. Only sign. When he was raised from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places, far above all principality, all fallen angels, power, might, dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and have put all things under his feet, and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is the body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Family, there is no way that I or anyone else for that matter can sufficiently describe or even begin to adequately explain this exceeding greatness of Yahweh's power that is mentioned here. This power, family, that saves, transfigures us, resurrects us, redeems us, that power beyond ex explanation. It is both indescribable and inexplicable. One must experience salvation, transfiguration, resurrection, redemption to even begin to attempt to comprehend a power that is wholly, entirely, and completely beyond comprehension. This indescribable, inexplicable, incomprehensible power is experienced and verified only by a test in real time. Do we got that? Yes. The only way. Only way your work is going to be tested. This ain't no verbal test. This is a real live test. Ain't no written test. A real live test. Now we're going to focus on exactly what chat G P T is. Sleek out. Family general information gathering versus intelligently gathering good intel. Now, we understood how to hear intelligently, correct? Yes. Yes. Now we're understanding how to intelligently gather good intel. Listen carefully. Chat GPT is essentially a counterintelligence program. That is, it is the de facto co-intel pro of the last days. I'm going to read that again. Chat GPT is essentially a counterintelligence program. 
as we pause to think about it, can we see that? Can we can we imagine that? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. That is, it is the de facto COINTELPRO of the last days. Let's define what counterintelligence is. Counterintelligence is the act of preventing an enemy from obtaining secret information. It's the act of preventing an enemy from obtaining secret information. For years, this AI technology has put out false, misleading, misinformation and disinformation and put it in history books. <laughs> Science books. Yes. Biology books. Economics books. Mm -hmm. Et cetera and so on. For years, they just didn't develop this technology. This is why it's important for us to understand that so we can proper, properly understand the enemy and what the enemy's tactics and strategies are. Counterintelligence is also described as information gathered and activities conducted to identify, deceive, exploit, disrupt, or protect against espionage. Now, you, you, you know, from listening to that video, the YouTube video by Jordan Peterson, that chat GPT creates a world through the entire corpus of human language. Is that information gathering? Big time. Yes, it is. Copy, copy. And he was trying. He was trying to tell us that they have not incorporated real world data in it. Bull crap. Yeah, that is bull crap. That is, they've taken all the known knowledge in the world and put it in that thing. Let me tell you something. Ben said they scraped the internet and now they're Absolutely. scraping everybody's computers. Look, they've been doing this for millennia, for thousands of years. Don't let them fool you, family. Absolutely. Yeah. To protect against espionage, other intelligence activities, sabotage, or assassinations conducted for or on behalf of foreign powers. We are that foreign power. <laughs> we are that foreign power. We're that extraterrestrial power. Okay. We are yes. that, that physical power. We are that supernatural power. Essentially, that they're guarding against. Trying to prevent the rise of Messiah didn't just start to happen with Hoover. It's all throughout the scriptures. Absolutely. When Cain, we're going to come back uh, to this, murdered his brother, Havel, Abel, that was pre preventing the rise of the Messiah. Y'all yeah, yeah. hear me? Come on. Yes, sir. Yes. That was emblematic of it. We're going to go through that in detail. 
Um, I believe after after we get done with this, intelligence. This is a 14th century definition. The highest faculty of the mind, capacity for comprehending general truths. See, that's what the pure language is doing for us. Yes. Book knowledge, rote knowledge, can do anything for us. It's all been tainted. Do, do, do y'all get that? Come it's on, all been tainted. tainted. It's misinformation. Absolutely. Yes. We can't trust our oppressors for not one thing. Okay. okay. Absolutely. It's all sin, Nazar. Yes, sir. Our power at this time, like no other time, lies in our ability to discern truth, not learn anything. Come on, you come. But to discern what it is that is presented before us. This this no, word no. this word. The pure language, just like we read, it, it, it manifests all creatures and creations. Do we trust that? Do we have faith in that? Do we have confidence in our ability to discern through the word only? Man, that sounds crazy to people, especially our people. Man, we sound crazy. Come on. But let me ask you, is it working? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's all that matters. That's right. Intelligence, meaning superior understanding, sagacity, quality of being, uh, intelligent is from the 15th century. All right. Uh, it's been working since we got on this call for three years. Absolutely. We started our way and we stayed that way. We never left it. That's why I'm still here. Absolutely. That's why we are here. Yes. Exactly. yes. Those who recognize it for what it is. That's correct. Now let's understand information versus intelligent information. Information versus intelligent information. The pure language is going to give us intelligent information. By, by how? Discerning the difference between information and intelligence or intel. Intel is youthful, useful rather, information. Stop there. All information is not useful. Come on, God. That's right. Yes. Concerning a subject of interest. Chat GPT is damn sure a subject of interest to us at this point. Why? Yes, because the, the ancestors put it on display. Okay. In gaming... An intel tool is a type of ability which gives the player information about the positioning of their enemies. Man, we really want to know that. 
we really need to know that. Yes. yes generally, yes. Speaking, generally speaking, knowledge, that is, information is power. In a war, the more information you obtain on your opponent, adversary, the better. However, as we said before, not all information is good intel. Intel is information that has specific military or particular political value. Intel is information that has specific military or particular political value. Good intel is, is defined as specific knowledge or particular information that gives you, us, a specific strategic and or particular tactical advantage over your opponent or adversary. Specifics. We're going to know specifically what chat GPT means to us. Damn what it means to the world. Right. Absolutely. Yes. We are the primary target of this. Okay. As far as we, the children of Yahuwah, are concerned, AI tech, specifically chat GPT, is our opponent's adversary's primary weapon of choice in the final days of the times of the Gentiles for the dominion reign of darkness. We're going to get to it quickly, family. We're not going to beat around the bush because we don't have to. A quick understanding of what you, we need to know about chat GPT. In a word, Chat GPT is the antithesis of Yahushua HaMashiach, who is, as the word of Yahuwah informs us, the word made flesh. Conversely, Chat GPT is the word made tech. Do you see the Opposing adversary there? Yes, sir. Plain as day. Okay. So then we have revealed before us the classic, familiar, pop fiction, almost cliche sci fi trope of man versus machine. Is that as simple as it is? How many people have seen Terminator? How many Terminator. people have seen yeah. The Matrix? That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I, Robot. I, Robot. It's the, it's, it, look, it's just that simple. Yahushua HaMashiach, the word made, fle uh, made flesh. Chat GPT, the word made tech. This is where the battle is. This is I'm sorry, I don't know what this is, but This will be, oh, I see. This is and will be, I don't know how that Doug got in there. This is and will be the defining characteristic, reality of the nature of the test that we are expecting, anticipating, looking forward to, and hastening in the consummating days uh, 
of the times of the Gentiles of the kingdom of darkness. I'll clean that up, family. I was going real fast on that. I probably was operating on about four hours sleep. But I'll clean that up, okay? <laughs> but you all get what, I, what I'm saying. This is the defining characteristic of the nature of test. It's going to be flesh against tech, man against yes. machine. Okay. And we're hastening the coming of these days. In Jeremiah 1, listen very carefully. Then the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before I form thee, this is the Spirit speaking to each one of us, like it spoke to Jeremiah. Before I form thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. That's why y'all still here. Yes, sir. The only thing. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, this is Jeremiah, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But Yahweh said unto me, Say not that I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and what, whatsoever I command thee, thy, thou shalt speak. Hey, don't get into what you are from a flesh and blood standpoint. That's right. Yahweh is known to use the foolish things of the world. Yes. To confound the wise. That's how we war, family. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith Yahuwah. Remember, the angels were surrounding Yeshua at all times. <laughs> mm -hmm. He said, y'all are not a threat to me. Don't you know? I'll call my father and he'll send, he, he, he'll put ten legions of angels. on my behalf, to work on my behalf. Yes. We have to understand the same thing. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith Yahuwah. Then Yahuwah put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And Yahuwah said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Is this word family? <laughs> Isn't this important? We can't get around it. Right. Absolutely. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, and to destroy. Man, when we declare more than three years ago, about four years ago, when we declared judgment on the nation. Man, well, some people on this call probably not here anymore. King, King. Uh, who, who East I think he is? Come on, East Yes. Same as who Jeremiah. Well, I'm not going to doubt it. I got I got Jeremiah as an example. Okay. Well, I'm gonna read this. Mount Keon say, "Oh no, I can't do it." No. Right. I'm gonna put that tongue on him right, right, right away. Put that word on him. And you see. <laughs> and no, it's gonna it's it's gonna work because it was time. Double edge. See, I have set, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, and to build, and to plant. Look, <laughs> did, did America start 
did we over the last five years see the implosion of U the USA Corporation? Absolutely. Yes. yes. It started to disintegrate. Okay. okay. The almond rod and boiling pot. There's that rod again. The almond rod and the boiling pot. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And Jeremiah said, I see a rod of an almond tree. That is a branch family, a stick. All right. And Yahweh said unto me, thou hast seen well. For I will hasten my word to perform it. Well, what is this word he's going to hasten? Look. His word to the nations, to the Gentiles that sit over kingdoms and that he's going to root them out and pull them down and destroy them and throw them down, and then after that, build us and plant us in our own land. But see, this building, how do we do that? By hearing intelligently. We're building. Yes, yes. That word hasten is the word shakad. Shakai. And in this sense, it means that he is going to be alert over his word. That he, he won't slumber or sleep. All right? That will, he will be on the lookout. Watching over his word. All right? Remember, he told us to watch. And what are we what were we watching for, fam? Supernatural stuff to happen, miraculous, wondrous things to happen. Guess what he's he's watching over? He's watching us to become over us to become the miracle, to become the wonder. Yes, sir. To become the blessing, to become the curse, to become the destroyer. Why shouldn't we be? If, if we're not, why are we aligned and connected energetically? Right. To be right. Our right. Come on. Come on. In Jeremiah 31 and 28, it reads like this, and it shall come to pass that like I like as I have watched over them, that's that meaning that's meaning the children of Yahuwah, to pluck up, to break down, and to throw down and to destroy, and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant, saith Yahuwah. So we see how that fits together. In Isaiah sixty, starting at verse twenty one, it reads like this. Thy people also shall all be righteous. This is after the test, family, right? Has to be after the test. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch or rod, almond tree, almond branch, almond rod, of my planting. The work of my hands that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. Don't don't say you're too young, Jeremiah. And neither should we say. Why? I, I, I've known you in your mother's womb. Yes. Even before that. 
Don't you remember? You volunteered for this duty in the last days, for this assignment. Yes. Yes, sir. A little one shall become a thousand, a small one, a strong nation. I, Yahuwah, will hasten it in his time. This is the word kush in this sense. Kush in the other sense, meaning to watch over it, is the word shakar. But this is the word kush, kush. And it means to hurry it. In other words, to be eager with excitement or enjoyment. See, if Yahuwah is excited about this and you not excited about it, how good is your connection? Right. How good is your alignment? Not good. You should be excited all the time. It should feel yes, like sir. it should feel like you felt, and even better when when we used to anticipate Christmas or a birthday mm. present or some special yes. event Come coming. On. Man, if you look warm now, you better check your pulse, check your spiritual pulse. Right. And this is what's going to be necessary for us, family. Not just praying. Not just meditate, not just hearing, not just building, but doing it with a sense of eagerness, excitement, yes. Yes. joy, gladness. That what we've talked about for over five years is at hand. Come on, Eta. Real talk, Eta. <laughs> that emotional element, family, exponentially increases the energy, the focus, okay. the attention, the intention. It exponentially puts another type of urgency on our prayers, another type of power. And it's going to move Yahuwah. Do y'all hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Certainly, Nazar. Go right ahead. You know... When we first got on this call, uh, Nasik had called uh, myself and Devorah, and uh, he had told us about you, and uh, he says, uh, you need to get on and, and, and hear the young bang. And he says, I don't know, but he, he, he got something. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I've always been the eager one. I, you know, I just, you, you can just feel this. And I'm saying this today because five years I've listened to you, I've heard you. And, I mean, it, it's manifesting right before my presence. You made a statement that you emanated here for this. Okay. I'm telling you, it is alive in this moment because you definitely imitated, emanated for this. And it's, we, we've been hearing, we've been listening to you. You know, and a lot of us, you know, we, we couldn't get excited because we didn't know. We were scared to, to embrace this. But, you know. I'm saying this today because no matter what we have felt and how we have moved, man, you have been on it. So that. 
this stuff five years ago, and you're, and it's just like you're studying, you're in the flow now. That it, you are, are making y'all excited because you are doing what you need to do. And, and, and the rest of us have been curious, and we, we just can't let go because, man, it is time now that we can move because you, you've you proven this. Not just going out to prove it. You're proving it through what you've done. In spite of you have stood no matter what. Yeah. You've done it. I know this is what you came for. And this is what we all we came said for. that the testimonies would be at this time, that this would be happening. And it's happening. Absolutely. It's happening. And everybody wow. that's here, the only thing can happen is, hey, man, embrace it. You're getting just what you need. You volunteered and came here for it. And, hey, it ain't no turning back now. That is Absolutely. What? <laughs> that's right, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah. I just wanted you to know that, man, you, you, you're doing the job. If no, nobody sorry. else feel it, I know it. Oh, please. Absolutely. Yeah, I know it because, see, I'm telling you, I was scared, but I'm I'm with confidence now. Because okay. I know. It ain't, I ain't guessing. I ain't feeling. He's the one. And you've done that. You, you're doing it. You're doing it. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's just, it just makes my blood just ball <laughs> to hear this word, this word that's always been there, but we couldn't discern it. Okay, but I feel the same way. All right, I'm, I'm finished. All right, appreciate you. Okay. Two examples, family, two examples. And it's going to bring us right back to where we started. Numbers 32 and 17, but we ourselves, but we ourselves will go ready armed. But we ourselves will go ready armed. This is this word, kush, before the yeah. children of Israel, until we have brought them unto their place. And our little ones, again, these same little ones being referred to, that will become a thousand, and the small one a strong nation. And our little ones shall dwell in fenced cities. I get that. Y'all know what fenced cities are? Y'all heard of gated communities? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, that's what it is. I know what it is. I live in one now. <laughs> we were the first ones. That's where they got it from. Yes. They disinherited our gated communities. Can't even tell. Because of the inhabitants of the land. Deuteronomy 32, 35, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is nigh at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Man, I'm, 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 I'm hastening the time. <laughs> yes, sir. Likewise, yes, sir. sir. Come on with this test so I can pass it and move on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon the walls. Well, we know when that happened, when we were told to watch, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More than two years ago. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Ye that make mention of Yahuwah, keep not silence. 
keep not silence. And and look, give him no rest. until he fulfills the promise to you. Do y'all hear that? Yeah. Absolutely. Y'all, you all know when you would promise your children something, right? You would say, we're going to do this. We're going to do something special. Man, every 15 minutes. <laughs> How about when are we gonna when are we gonna do it? When are you gonna get ready? What what time is it out? It, and it just it'll make you get up and start doing something. Am I right or wrong? You right about it. Because you know your children aren't being bad, or man, they're excited about the promise. So yeah. doesn't it doesn't it force you into action then? Yes. Yes. You'd be like, man, I was gonna, I was gonna start this around noon. Let me get out here now. These kids ain't giving me no rest. Right. <laughs> Every fifteen minutes. This is the same situation. Give him no rest till he established, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Behold, Yahweh hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thou salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work is before him. And that's our elder brother. The word salvation, look. Yesha. Yasha. It means to be open, to be wide, to be free. That's got to be our, that's got to be how we comport ourselves. That has has to be our state. Yeah. And you can't do that with the human mind because you're going to try to be trying to understand every detail and how it's going to happen. Man, I don't, man, I ain't never, if my father promised me something, my parents promised me something, I wasn't worried about how. My concern was when. Absolutely. You all worked that out. You shouldn't have said nothing. You all work it out. <laughs> right. <laughs> But the human mind, man, it's going to nitpick all the details. Man, I'm not concerned. Real talk, Etat, likewise. When is this test going to happen? Bring it on. Bring it on. I already know what I'm going to do. I trust in my work. I trust in what I've built. Yes, sir. Yes. It might not be perfect, Malkia, but I know it's going to endure. Absolutely. It's it's based on the word. That's what I base everything on. So our attitude, our comportment has to be open, wide, free. Understanding that we'll be safe, that we have avenging angels on our side, defending angels, that we got a deliverer that is above them, and that we're going to be preserved, rescued, safe, victorious through this whole process. Man, we ain't, we ain't, we, it, ain't it, 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 it ain't whether if we going to win. No. When are we going to win? When is the test? When do I get to pass this test? 
Exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we ready like that, family? Yes, sir. Fine. Real talk. And they shall yeah. call them the holy people, set apart, the redeemed of Yahuwah. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. So we're going to stop here. And we'll finish this up, family. Uh, we won't be on tomorrow, but we'll finish it up either on Thursday or Friday. If um, we'll, we're going to be on Thursday, you'll know uh, either the day before or early Thursday, very early thir in the morning on Thursday. All right? Yes, sir. But you all can finish this out. And then on uh, Thursday or Friday, we'll talk about the role again of the Holy Spirit, the role uh, of remembering, the book of remembrance. And then we're going to get on. With. COINTELPRO, um, reminding ourselves of Co COINTELPRO, dealing wisely with the children of Israel. And we're going to understand, family, that this, if this don't, won't, don't prove that chat GBT, that AI tech, has been in operation for not centuries, millennia. Yes, sir. Mm. We're gonna go all the way, all the way back to Pharaoh. All right. Yes. 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 I'm gonna end the recording and open it up for questions and comments and such.